So ultimate mulch test. No, I'm not going to mulch a goat, don't worry. No goat curry for us. Well, I'm doing some mad skids and donuts. Which way's home? I'm a bit dizzy. So here we have the Weebang Ion 106ZT Zero Turn. Yes, it's a battery powered zero turn mower. We're going to put it through its paces. Let's check it out. Tested by Machinery Nation. So we're very familiar with Weebang machines. They've been making rotary lawn mowers and roller mowers, scarifiers, aerators, and lots of other machinery as well for many years. And what we want to find out is, is this got the build quality of a commercial machine on a domestic level? Yes, it is built like a brick outhouse. It is very, very strong. Just take the front casters, for instance. They are made from about 10 mil plate steel. It is built like a zero turn should be, with proper steel all the way through the chassis and all the way around the machine. It is built very, very heavy duty. So coming round to the rear of the machine, that quality is continuing. Everything is all closed in nicely, so you're not going to get sticks and debris in where you don't want it. And right down to the rear tow hitch is a proper bit of steel plate. It's nice to see a battery powered machine made to the same quality as a petrol one. So the controls are very similar to what you'd expect from other zero turns on the market. You've got your lap bar steering, where you've got forwards, you've got reverse, and you've got your turning. The user interface, again, is very, very similar. You've got a key, you've got your PTO lever to engage your blaze, you've got your control settings, and you've got your little LCD display to show you what your battery levels are. So the height adjustment lever is nice and traditional. You've got all the way down to 15 millimeters and all the way up to 115 millimeters. Yes, Old English is four inches. So in a zero turn, this is your speed control. The further you push it forward, the faster you go. The further you pull it back, the slower you go and you come to a stop. And then your handbrake, traditionally on a petrol machine, is you push out with the levers. But with this one, obviously being battery operated, you've actually got a foot brake there. So that's if you're into real trouble, you want to brake quickly, you can press your foot brake. And then it's also got the handbrake here on the side. So if when you want to stop as your park brake, you pull that one up and it's got a nice little ratchet action which i like you know it's a proper traditional way of having a break and i like that it's a nice feature one of my favorite features of them all as some of you might already know if you watched our previous videos i do love a cup holder and this doesn't just have one no it has two and also a storage compartment this side and another one the other side oh great and you may be asking, James, what are your arms resting on? Well, it's called an armrest. It's extremely exciting because they're not just any armrest. No, they're adjustable. If you've got longer or shorter arms and you want them to line up with your sticks in the front, you can adjust them so that they go there. I think that should be on every single mower available. Not just armrests, but adjustable armrests. Yes, please do it. I like it. It's just all mowers. Almost. So the deck is not just a side discharge, so if you don't want to squirt your grass out all over your lawn or into your vegetable beds, you can put the mulch plug on and put that nutrients back down into your lawn. But this side flap has got to be noted. Most side flaps on the market, they're either really rigid and they break and crack, or they're really floppy and they just, well, they just flop. But this one is, so we should we say, a little bit in between. You can do that to it, but it's not floppy. It goes back to its perfect shape again. It is just exactly, so if you go up against a tree and hit it with a tree or up against a wall, it's going to move. Underneath the back of the mower are two whopping big motors. Weebang have not done this by half. They have actually put in something very substantial. And I know it's something that they've built themselves because it's got, well, it's got Weebang stamped into the side of it. Right, so as we're in the Machinery Nation, I hope you're already subscribed to our channel. It's now time to test it and cut some grass. Mochi, mochi. The Weebang Ion 106ZT runs on a 72 volt system with the integral battery containing 75 amp hours, which is enough to cut up to 1.5 acres or 120 minutes depending on your terrain and grass condition. Extremely easy to keep in a straight line, and the deck sticks out slightly on the edge, so you're able to edge cut really nicely. So your travel speed is pretty impressive and also it stays in a nice straight line. It's what you need. 
Any good at donuts? Yeah. Please subscribe. A major benefit to this machine is it's got two travel speeds. Yes, it's got slow and it's got fast. So if you're going around beds and borders, you can go nice and slow. Or say, let's say you're loading onto a trailer or into your shed and it's a little bit tight and finicky, you've got that a little bit more control. Whereas if you're on a large, long area of grass and you want to keep going really quickly, then you can put it in fast mode. So as you see here, you've got a button, which is hair and tortoise. And all you do is press the button and it changes the dial on the screen here. So you've got hair there, press it once it goes green and it changes to tortoise. Obviously tortoise being slow and hair being fast. Throw it out the side. <laughs> My favorite thing to do, chop grass. <laughs> yeah. Big bulky grass, yeah. Gotta say, that has left a lovely clean finish. And what's that cutting? Like four, five inches worth of grass and a load of nettles and everything as well. It's taking it back down to being yellow again. That's quite impressive. Oh, so now you want to eat it. Let me cut it up for you a little bit more, yeah? So ultimate mulch test. No, I'm not gonna mulch a goat, don't worry. No goat curry for us. This isn't what it's designed for. Oh. I think that's pretty impressive. <laughs> It's not really designed for this. It's a lawnmower at the end of the day. It's designed for what we've been already cutting. But I know some of you will want to push it a little bit further and cut your paddock or your orchard. Oh, I was still doing it. I had a bit of a fart then, but you know. It's cutting it. Oh, we're going onto a slope. We're into unknown territory now, James. Going downhill. This is like a 15 degree slope, so, you know. But it's still cutting it. Back up the slope. Sort of 15 degrees again. So we've got gravity against us. But it is throwing that grass out as any other mower would. So this is like 20 degree slopes sideways. No worries, no problems. Can it make the corner and go up over? And then we've got our steeper slope over here, which my son has had the digger and made a steeper track for his quad bike. But yeah, no worries at all. Haha, <laughs> yeah! So yeah, no problems, 15 degrees, absolutely fine. I like it, it's good. So, build quality, tick. Comfort, tick. Mulching, tick. Side discharge in lush green grass, tick. Side discharging in horrible, tall, dry, thistly grass, tick. And on the slopes, a tick. It's got some great positives about this machine. And if you'd like to see one for yourselves, WeBang have a nationwide network of dealers. Oh yes, you're not very far away from one, so you better go and check them out, speak to the dealer, make sure it's the right machine for you, and they can help you through every step of the way. Not just the sales process, but in the after sales, the servicing, repairs, if there's any warranty issues, they are there to help you out. So please click on to WeBang's website to find out where your nearest dealer is. While I'm doing some mad skids and donuts, please subscribe to our channel, like this video, and pop a comment in the comments section to what you like about this zero turn mower please subscribe guys yeah which way's home i'm a bit dizzy